In today's episode of Homestead How, we get a new gizmo to help clean out our Whip chimney. It. Whip it good. Oh, that's great. Oh, my goodness. Carrie here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead in today's episode. We bought this thing from Menards. It's called the Suit Eater Rotary Chimney Cleaning System. Spinning chimney whip removes dangerous soot and creosote buildup better than a brush. Clean with power from the bottom up, no ladder. That's the part I'm not sure about. I don't know how that's possible. Usually when people clean these out, they remove the chimney and then they go up on the roof and then they stick a brush down. This one you're supposed to be able to go up through the bottom and you're supposed to be able to use your drill. So you guys can follow along with me and figure out if this thing's really gonna work because I think there's a whole bunch of stuff on the top of this and I don't think there's just access to stick something up through that hole, but we'll find out right now. All chimneys need periodic examination and cleaning to reduce the risk of a chimney fire. Very important, if you have a wood stove, you gotta keep it clean. Just like we do. We've cleaned ours every year we've lived here. Right, Jen? Right, Carrie. That's right. Every year we've cleaned ours up. Yep, we just need one of these new whipple whirl things. Which, in my opinion, is completely impossible. How could you possibly get up there? See what happened. See, they show the pictures. If you have it up against the wall like that, nobody has it like that. You can get a good draft. Nobody has it installed that way. I think, I think this is false ripped. advertising. Show me that paper. I think you got ripped. Well, I obviously wasn't planning on doing it that way, but now that I just saw it, it's intriguing. <coughs> See? From the bottom up, and then they show this guy like he's sticking it in here and putting it up. Well, what's your point if you have to disconnect it? Isn't it going to come all the way down? If I don't disconnect it, all the garbage is going to come and sit right here, and that's just going to cause even more issues. Stupid heavy ladder that I hate getting! I should have got it from the beginning! So heavy! Did you get your big stupid heavy ladder? I hate this ladder. I hate this ladder. I hate that You can't get the lights in the shop, Jen. You're breaking the third wall. That's disgusting. Now what are you doing, Kiri? So this thing says you can clean from the inside up. That's a lie. I figured that was anyways. So I'm going to pull the chimney off in two sections. This really depends on your setup. You probably have to unscrew some screws and then pull it out. So I got the top section disconnected up there, as you can see. I'm going to put a garbage bag around it, and then I'm going to go up on the roof, and I'm going to clean it. I'm going to put this garbage bag around here and tape it so that everything goes in the bag and doesn't make a huge mess. Yeah, we'll see. And there is a lot of creosote in there. Let me show the people at home. <coughs> See it from down here. Hopefully, you can see that. What are you doing? So, I just cut this tie around it. Now, I can tie this together because there's a lip up here. I got it nice and tight. It's going to break and make a mess of Yeah, it's going to go everywhere. I just hope we get it on video if that does happen. Oh my goodness. Out we go. for you honey. It was a crouton from yesterday. It was beautiful outside yesterday so we had dinner outside. So I don't know if you guys can see this but it's pretty bad in there. Probably can't see that but it's pretty important to do this once a year. Okay I got my weed whacker and I got all the pieces and I got my drill. Let's go clean that one out. I guess if I get some on the grass, it's not that big of a deal, right there. No. Watch out for the tail there. The tail? Yeah, there's a tail down there for some reason. What kind of tail is it, Jen? I don't know. 
Okay, let's show them real quick. This actually looks really easy to do. So these pieces, this just snaps into here. Excuse me, the noise our chicken's making. Can you see that? It's a little pop. It's a little pop. Okay, then this goes on here. What do you suppose that tool is for? It's the whipper wheel. And then this goes on your drill. Hey! And then it goes. See? Whipper wheel. Whip it. Whip it good. Oh, that's great. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. see it on camera here but it's definitely a lot gone. How do I get Just up there? Let that fall. Well you bring that ladder out here that you don't like? I'm not bringing that ladder out. I'm gonna go grab another ladder just to spite that ladder. You go upstairs through the window. I want to go through the window. Right to well, you I got again. this little pointy thing. This is so you can take the extensions off. I have three. I only need two. Jen's gonna film from down there. I'm gonna do the top part now. I just gotta pull the rain cap off. You got that? Yes. So this one isn't as dirty. What was that face? Are you hitting the bag? Here comes the bag. <laughs> I'm afraid to see. We're gonna use that? Did it stick up? Look. Oh, it stayed. Yeah, the bag stayed. Good for you. Now we want to clean this up. The shop bag. Oh my. All right, so our bag held up. There's stuff in here from before, some um, creosote and crap, so I'm gonna vacuum this out real quick. Melissa, come and see if you can get a good shot in here. After cleaning everything up and getting the stove pipe back in place, I decided to try this little gizmo on our outdoor wood burner. And it actually worked really well because that one has a really high chimney and there's really no way unless I use the bucket truck to get in through the top. But there's this clean out in the bottom so we can use it from the bottom. And it worked really well in this case. All right, so this tool worked great, although I couldn't go up through our wood stove inside like I thought I could. It still worked great going down, and the other reason I got it is because I can go up through our outdoor central boiler. We're going to be doing that in another video. Now I'm going to just get all the, the dust off of this. I'm going to put it back in the box. I'm going to put it in my special spot so next year we can use it again to clean up both the indoor wood burner and the outdoor wood burner. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And be sure to check out our other videos. We have a, uh, another video called five ways to reuse your firewood ash that's really popular and we got a bunch of videos on our outdoor central boiler. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Next time on Homestead How. We've done some major upgrades to our Airbnb unit after it was destroyed by some guests. One of the things we did is right here, this thing is so cool. If you watched the last video, you've seen this one already. We built a TV lift cabinet. We also did a